Hi, welcome to the fourth edition of our Index Match Array series. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a list that shows items of another list that are not in another list. So for instance here we have our employee drug test. We have a list of employees. We have a future list of employees that will be tested. And we what we want is to generate a list of employees that need to be tested. So for instance if I grab just a chunk of these guys and go ahead and paste it here. You'll notice that our list in column D shrank way down. Um, and it shrank down to meet all of, to show all of the employees that are not in this tested list. Obviously this has a few more applications than drug testing at a business, but, um, but for this example it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, this formula. Let's just delete the bottom bottom few. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is use a formula that will tell us whether these exist in here. Off the top of my head I know of two. We can use either the match function or the search function. Use the match function for this. So if I type in match and I have match takes in three arguments. It takes up a lookup value, a lookup array, and a match type. And what we want is to put all of the values in which we are looking up in the lookup value part of it. So in this case we're going to put this entire array in our lookup value argument. And you can go ahead and press F4 on that and that will lock it. Press comma for the next argument. Okay so here's our lookup array. So what we're trying to find out is whether these values exist within this list. The match will tell us just that. So you can go ahead and press F4 on that one too. I'm going to comma to my next argument and go 0 and close that off. Let's highlight it and you can either press F9 or go to calculate now. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, NA in Excel terms actually means not available. It is a type of Excel error, but it's specific to just saying that these particular items do not exist. What this match function did was it didn't find any values that fit this tested list until it hit John, which is in B9 cell. So when it hit John, it found it in the first placement of this array. So it put a 1 there. Um, and it found Jason too, so it put a 2 because it's in the second place. Okay, so what are we going to use? Well, what we want to do is we want to pull out the errors, right? We want the not availables. Um, and in particular, we want the first not available. So we can uh, we can use if error and or we can use in a, is an a. If we use if error, we're going to have to convert the na's into something that we can look up. And if we use is an a, we're going to have to convert the trues into something look, that we can look up. So for this case, I think we can use if error. So if you go I F E tab, if error, that's our value. And the cool thing about the if error function is it can handle arrays. So it'll change all of our errors in that array into whatever we choose it to be. And let's make this, let's just go ahead and make this a big number. So I'm just going to type in 2 to the 15th. And you press F9 or go to calculate now. It made all of our errors this really big number. Great. So what um, can we do from there? Well, because we're going big, we're going to use the large function, right? Because we're trying to find the errors. So we can use the large function, but it's not going to really help us right now because we don't have anything to differentiate them. Right now, they're all the same. They're all 2 to the 15th. So what we can do, add, or actually, let's subtract. Let's subtract the row of these values. I'm going to go ahead and press F4. And what we can do is use our large function to give us an incrementation of the largest one. So for our k, we're actually going to use a um, rows function, and we're just going to go d4 through d4, and we're going to make that an expanding range. So if you highlight 1d4 and press F4, that will expand. So as we drag it down, it'll go 1, and then as we drag it to the next cell, it'll go 2, next cell 3, so on and so forth. So we close that off, press Control shift enter because it's an array function, and it gives us our value, so 32,764. I guess um, essentially what that is is 2 to the 15th minus 4, which is right here. 
And uh, just in case, let's actually make this, go ahead and divide this by 100. Okay, so 32,767.96. So that's going to be our lookup. And you'll notice if, you, if you've uh, watched any of these other videos, all of these videos use a very similar method. All taken an array, they pull a part of the array, and then they do a match formula based on the original array. So for instance, if I, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go match. I'm going to match this largest value. I'm going to match it within an array. And we've already made the array, just like in all the other videos. So I'm going to copy it from that if error all the way to that minus row. I'm going to paste it there. And control shift enter. Okay, it's going to give me 20. Okay, so 20. Yeah, that's not correct. And I think I think the re the problem is that match does not assume that you want a, an exact match. So I forgot a very important argument. And that is uh, comma zero. Okay, there we go. So if I drag that down, yes, that's exactly what I want. All right. Um, okay, so one through twenty. However, nothing including these two. And these two, so essentially what these are are row numbers. So John and Jason sit in the seventh and sixth portion of that array. So what we need to do is create some sort of thing that figures out that once it hits John, it no longer should produce a result. Um, but first, let's use our index function. So if we type an in index and then highlight our column B and close that off. Okay, great. So what we need to do, so right now it just sorts these guys to the bottom of the list. So what we need to do is make sure it understands how to delete these guys when we're done. So what we can do is use an if function. We can go if C3 through C4 through C23 equals the index. And I'm going to wrap that around with an OR. So uh, what the OR does is it'll take in that array and it'll figure out if any of them equal, if any of these values equal any of these values, then we want it to go to blank. And the value if false is going to be our index array. I'm going to grab it right there. Close it off. And send it down. Okay, there you go. That's exactly how you do it. So if we can test it, I can copy this and paste it over here. And it shrinks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions by emailing me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com or leave a comment below. Uh, again, this is the fourth video of the series. I'm going to try to make a fifth and sixth one very soon.